Now we as low carbers tend to think that glucotoxicity, carbs are the main cause of insulin resistance. Dr. Shulman has clearly shown, and I think that this is the accurate picture, that it is lipotoxicity that causes insulin resistance. With lipotoxicity, you get convert the fat inside the cells to ceramides and diacylglycerol, and this prevents intracellular insulin signaling so that you cannot recruit the group four channels through which you can take in glucose. In addition, the toxic fat damages your mitochondria. The mitochondria don't burn cleanly. They make a lot of free radicals. The cell gets energy starved, inflamed, and dies. Now let's turn our liver as to how liver interfaces with food. In the setting of fasting, the liver is charged with the main responsibility of supplying the brain with fuel. Our brain refuses to fast. It needs a certain amount of food all the time. And so amino acids from muscle breakdown and glycerol from fat breakdown is converted in the liver through a process called gluconeogenesis to provide what is called hepatic glucose output for the brain. In addition, the fatty acids get taken up by the mitochondria and the liver. And because insulin levels are low when you're fasting, they, convert, they get converted to ketones, which is fuel for the brain. When you eat a meal, glucose is coming in. The liver can use what it needs and then store it as glycogen. And because glucose is coming in, hepatic glucose output should get shut down. However, in the setting of insulin resistance, the insulin cannot recruit the GLUT4 channels. The amino acids from fat breakdown and the glycerol from lipolysis continue to be taken up by the liver. And in the midst of plenty of food coming in, the liver puts out glucose when it shouldn't. It also jacks up the fat manufacturing machinery to become fatty. The fatty acids that are picked up by the liver get on, cannot get converted to ketones because of high insulin levels. And the liver spews out these triglyceride-rich lipoproteins.